practice. We're back on site today and we're finishing up the last of the sill plates and starting to put in some of these vertical posts uh, along this front wall, which is going to be kind of the walkout basement area. You can see we've got the cross bracing on them. We've got them nice and uh, you know vertical. And uh, the next step after this is to run a string level across from the back here over to the tops of these guys so we can know where the tops of all of the studs in this wall are going to be. We're going to work on these two, two walls first. Once we've got those, we're going to work on the south-facing wall with all of these posts through here. Had almost kind of a little mishap this morning uh, based on uh, making assumptions. Uh, you know, there's, there's some kind of a phrase about making assumptions that makes something out of you and I, and almost had that happen to me this morning because I was uh, presuming that these uh, vertical posts were going to be made out of two by sixes, three two by sixes stuck together. And that was just simply because that was the way that the kit worked at the last house. This is the same company. Uh, you know, I'm using them again to build this place. So I was kind of just envisioning that these were all two by sixes. And I do have some two by sixes in the pile back there behind you. But in looking at the instructions on this particular house and the fact that there are not that many two by sixes in that pile over there, came to the conclusion, and it was obviously bolstered by actually reading the instructions, that this is, is supposed to be made out of two by fours, not two by sixes. In fact, all of these posts are all going to be two by four posts, not two by six posts. And I almost made that mistake this morning. And if I had started cutting those two by sixes, you know, to length for this, and then later on realized, oh, wait, there's a problem here, I would have done a lot of work. And, you know, I, I, maybe I could have kept some of them, maybe it would have been fine. But, you know, I, I could have created problems for myself by making assumptions. It's always good to kind of go through everything, double check everything as best you can. There's so many pieces of information and uh, just things to keep in your head when you're doing this. It's some, somewhere close to impossible to not make any mistakes, but the more you double think things, you know, bounce things off other people. My dad was instrumental in noticing this, this mistake. Uh, he, he tends to not take anything for granted, and that works out really well on this. So the more you can uh, do those kind of checks for yourself, the, you know, the better off you're going to be in terms of not making any really irritating mistakes where you're going to put in a ton of work and realize, oh, wait, I, w I shouldn't have done any of that. And at the same time, I ruined all these other boards that were intended for, for something else. So that's it. Having a good day today. Good weather. In, I'd say, two or three days, this whole area is going to look very different, and we're going to probably have a lot of our, uh, a lot of our, our basic stud walls up. That's it. Thanks for watching.